Hey everybody, I'm Mega Mario Gamer, and welcome back to some more Lisa. Last time, we got messed up. Like, I know, I know, I said that in the beginning of the last episode's intro too, but we we got fucked up by two mutants, both of them using a grind your teeth attack, which kills. Like, doesn't even just beat the the people on the team; it it flat out kills them. So we're gonna avoid any mutants in this area. Sonny joined the team because Purse, not Purse, because Birdie's dead. Birdie's gone forever. Not yet. Birdie's gone. Yeah, he's he's gone as fuck. Our old friend from back in college, he's he's not coming back. Oh, not again. <laughs> so yeah, he's... We're gonna miss him, but you know... He was so useful. But he, he got kidnapped by a biker gang, and then turned into a pile of meat, he probably didn't even fight it. We can't afford that kind of... We can't afford that kind of loss. I can't just let people get killed left and right. I think I gotta reset. Like, that is not something that's normal. So, apparently it's not just mutants. Literally every enemy has the capability of just flat out killing someone. I don't know if it's a glitch in the game, or if that's supposed to happen here. All I know is that it, it is completely fucked up. I'm gonna give it one more shot. We're gonna go down, take on that guy. If we can't get past him without getting a party member killed, or worse, then we're gonna scale the mountain. Or go to the Indian village we found. Alright, beat the guy, got the level up. This dude right... Oh, he's not burning anymore, nice. Spider... Avoided spider dad. Didn't avoid that spider dad, alright. Apparently Brad Brad did a pretty good job last time. Let's see if we can do it this time. Apparently not. Okay, so right, left equals a tied up guy. Toby. Yes. Crisp. He should be down by the Xerox. Crew, let's check out Toby real quick. Let's 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 just let's see what Toby has to Oh, he's not a teammate. Alright, well that guy was useless. I'm gonna hold him for ransom. Come on, come past us. It's not working. Oh. This was not the right moment. Okay, everybody, everybody. Everybody do this before he bites you. At least he didn't poison him. That's the important part right there.
Beastborn's pretty hurt, but... Actually, yeah, this... He might get killed completely if we don't do something, so... I don't know why Beastborn has SP, though. He doesn't have any skills that he can use like that. Right area, to the right. You go to the left, and you... And another spider dad appears. So you get the spider dad with a scary clothesline, and then a whip flare, and then a big shock. He still tries to bite you anyway. Alright, let's try left again. Left equals that. Whatever you want to consider that to be. And then right. Equals a bag. Devil's pads. Um... Damn, the nipple has your luck go up by a lot. The eternal title belt will bring his agility down, but everything else pretty good up. The sock will just flat out make everything better. And by everything I mean agility. Stench does nothing. Dead flower brings it up by a lot. Special attack and regular attack. I think I'm gonna have to have the lucky feather for now. I don't want lower agility, because in a place like this, dodging is more important. You can't replace... You can't replace Harvey. Yeah, Optimize will have the eternal title belt, but I'm going with this. The football pads of the world's most evil quarterback, Satan Manning. That would get some pretty decent thing. What about you? How's it looking for you? Special defense and regular defense. I'm gonna go with Beastborn. Beastborn gets these things. Alright. Is there anything over here? Nothing. Come on. Go! Alright, through this door to the right. We've been through like four... Alright, another ambush. Should have seen that one coming, to be honest. What? All right, let's just let's just leave them alone for now. Spider Dad, Brad. Oh, I jumped over him. Run, run. Okay, this leads to another area. We're not gonna fight those guys for now. There's a horse over here. Hey, man, how's it going? I see you smoking some stuff. You're not gonna talk to me? Am I, am I not cool enough for you? Do I gotta be smoking? You're rude. You're rude, sir. I guess we're gonna go fight a fight a gang. Shit, 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 shit. I've noticed that these the spiders like to bite like they like to bite big shot a lot.
All right, so what happens if we fight back? He's an alien or a ghost or both. He's the ghost of an alien who came here one time back in the day, real long ago. Can I use a head slide on all of them? Yes. Yes, that, that is what is happening. Scary clothesline, frog splash, flail, lights out, bear hug. Can't do it on anyone else, so let's scary clothesline you, because I don't think you're going to fall. Beastborn. Good thing we got Shock Lord here. He's a ghost. He's definitely a ghost. We gotta keep Shock Lord alive. He's the most important in this situation. Okay, Brad, keep it up with the head slides. You lights out Mr. Big Shot over here. Do we have anything to help Big Show? Rando rations. Big Shock, you're the Big Shot. I think a stampede will hit everybody, maybe. And Big Shot's definitely... He's, he's taking out some people. Here's another head slide. Hey, buddy, how about you clothesline the big dude in the middle? Okay, so... Critters. Deer driver. Doesn't do that. Big stampede. Big stampede. And a big shock. Samaki is gathering strength, so I better make sure that nothing happens. We gotta take out Sumaki. Or at the very least, stun him. Bear hug. Um, whip flurry. He should be close. Yes, paralysis. Alright. Everybody unleash everything you got on this guy. Terrifying clothesline. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, we got plenty of stuff. Ninja scarf. I mean, we, we got everything. Ghost ninjas. From outer space. Isn't biggest plot of the movie ever. Oh, I forgot to... I forgot to equip stuff. Uh, greasy poncho. But then let's... Oh, the ninja scarf I can't wear? The eternal title belt. Yeah. Okay. Now, can anyone wear the ninja scarf? Ninja scarf, beastborn, you, you could just about wear everything. Fur coat, cut off sweatshirt, nothing. You're a last hope, Shock Lord. Can you be a ninja? You can! Your defense will go down, but your special defense will go up, and your agility will go up a lot. I feel as though you'll be able... Dressing like a ninja doesn't give you the right to do stupid poses. I feel like this will make it so he gets hit way less often, so... Yeah, you wear a ninja scarf. Your turquoise pads... Let him go to Sony. You can wear these, right? No. Well, whatever. What else did we get from him? We got a couple items, right? Yeah, we got two perfume and some mystery jerky. Gotta make sure we don't get killed down here. Wait, what? <laughs> Toby counts as an item. A fan. Large fan. Is it equipment? If it was, it would be a weapon, I believe. No. It's an item. 
A huge fan. Could possibly be a family heirloom. Nothing. That was the treasure of this area. Just a large fan. Let's get out of here before we get attacked by another super mutant. All we gotta do is leave and then find a save point. That's all we gotta do. And heal. There's no gang to kidnap anyone now, so. Hey, a present. An old sock. Okay, so we got a large fan. We also got 59 mags. What's in this door? We were just in here. I don't remember what was on the other side, but I don't remember it being too good. Hey, buddy, what's going on? This is the cave with the weird mutant. Okay, not going in there. Not until we save, at least. I want to keep this large fan. And the ninja scarf. Okay, so there's some... No, this is a cave with the mutant. So what's down the other cave? And more importantly, what's at the top? Nothing. Okay, so... Is there or is there not another mutant waiting to eat us at the bottom of this cave? The suspense is killing me. We're getting somewhere. Really want there to be an option and just let go of the rope. What? How do I get up there? And what is this? What is this place? Every tree bled. What the f Blood coyote. Shadow of the Feather Howls into the Night. Not bad. I'm gonna keep this video going until I find a save point, and if I don't find one, then it's gonna end mid sentence. Is this some kind of like ninja tower? Clothesline's so powerful it strikes fear into the enemy again. Let's let's wait on that. Charging headbutt, deer bomb, more domestic jerky, and an empty bottle. 
Probably gonna cut out these ninja fights, because they're all the same, technically. Looks like I can avoid them by just going above ground. I think that's what I'm gonna do for now. He birthed her, he w he birthed her, he will have her, you've met him. Oh, a save point. Go, 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 go. A ninja master. Yes. Alright, this, this will run on a little bit, but I'm going to go take on the ninja master. If things go well, I end the episode there. Oh, you're floating too, you're a ghost as well. And I can't stun a ghost as far as I know. Terrifying clothesline. A bite. Big Shock, try to stun him. He's fingering Beastborn, okay, he's starting off strong. Oh, he weirded out Beastborn. I can't use him. sure I have much else to say about this fight and just kind of trying to beat the ninja ghost master alien what, what else can I add to this guy's name uh, red Martian something else cool looking guy Sony's not doing bad but I kind of hope this guy joins our team Okay, he's paralyzed. Brad gets that. Um, Coca Cola. Yes. Give that to Shock Lord. Beast Born, get him on a whip. Shock Lord, guard for now. Fireball, a regular clothesline, a paralyzing whip, and Shock Lord, another big shock. So far, things are going pretty well. You are not needed in this tale. No, he didn't join me. But there's one last tree that hasn't been chopped down. Let's do it. You know, this makes it so I probably shouldn't have made that save point. In fact, just because we can, it's gonna make this a long episode. Truck keys. Is there a save point in area 2 I haven't used? Um, you know, whatever, I'm just gonna go to area 3. In fact, no, I'm ending it here. I'll see you all next time.